Hi, good afternoon. Today is Monday, March the 11th, and I hope that y'all had a wonderful weekend. Um, it is spring break here in San Antonio, Texas for us, and um, I hope that y'all have a lot of things planned. I know early in the week it's going to be kind of dreary and, you know, rainy, but I do know the end part of the week it is going to be a little bit of sunshine, so I know um, my family and I are planning on going to SeaWorld. Um, my kids really enjoy that, and my mom got us passes for Christmas, so thank you, Mom. Um, so we're planning on doing that this week. Um, so having said it is spring break, yes, all four of my children are at home with me this week, and usually I do my videos when the older three are at school and I just have my five-year-old, um, but life goes on. What are you going to do? You know, pretty soon it'll be summer and they'll be home every day. So. Um, I did tell them I'm doing my video, so fingers crossed that we can have 10 minutes of quiet time so I can bring y'all today's devotionals and prayers. Um, today's devotional is about time, and it says, Time is a very precious gift of God, so precious that it only gives, He only gives it to us moment by moment. You're an interesting person. Even when you're alone, there's no reason for you to feel lonely. Use the time to get to know yourself. There's always more that you can discover, dream about, and find pleasure in doing. Draw or write, putter in the garden, take a walk, or sit by the window and watch the clouds float by. Be an angel to yourself and become your own good company. Um, I like that because I know a lot of us feel alone on a daily basis, um, and sometimes it's good to have that quiet time, but I know that if you're alone all the time, you want that that personal connection and you want somebody to be there the good news is is even if you are physically alone you're not truly alone God is always with us spiritually his Holy Spirit is always with us he's with us everywhere we go no matter what we're doing um, and so you know on those days where you're feeling sad or something and you just need a big hug say Lord Jesus can you just wrap your arms around me and give me a big hug and you'll just feel his presence. Um, now there are times um, when I love to have a little alone time or quiet time, like this afternoon I'm going grocery shopping. I don't get out much. Um, and sometimes I take um, a bike ride and I love my bike ride because of the trees. I'm In fact, when I was younger I didn't care about the trees, but now I just, I'm infatuated with these huge oak trees and these big cedar trees and my dream is you know one day to buy a bunch of property that has a ton of trees and just to be able to sit on my porch and, and enjoy the beauty of nature I even want my driveway to have the trees you know that like on this side and this side and they arch over and so you're kind of like driving through trees I don't know it's silly but I like the little things like that and this weekend you know my family and I we planted some flowers and put some mulch in our front yard so it's and now I have color in my front yard and so it's stuff like that that I enjoy and it's stuff like that that you need to enjoy um, today's prayers are Father God, help me to avoid negative thoughts and actions and more strictly follow your expectations of me. Give me a double portion of your spirit today so that I might have positive thoughts of victory and favor. You show me that you want to do great things in me and through me. Keep my head up and my spiritual eyes open. Amen. Well, that's really fitting for the week. Um, I know that, you know, there are days when I'm just like, oh, nothing's working out, everything's going wrong, and I'm sure that there's things that he's trying to teach me throughout the day, and so I just need his grace and his strength and his power to get through the day, um, and Lord knows how many need his strength to get through this week. Um, the next one is, Dear Father, today I feel like every task is a race. I'm falling short on giving grace. It is a scary thing to ask for what I need. I recognize lessons to be conceived. In this moment, I need your abundant grace and request your strength to slow my pace. Jesus, would you grant me patience and your Holy Spirit to be my guide? Give me a willing ear to listen and a gracious hand would you provide. May my mouth speak only with love and my heart reflect from light above. Please help my mind focus intentionally and my actions praise you eternally. Amen. Now that's a mouthful. Um, I need that every day because I am kind of a... I, I'm an OCD person, so I kind of, you know, I, I'm a clean freak, and I like 
to do everything, you know, everything has its own spot, and my husband calls me the tornado, um, and it aggravates my family to no end, and, you know, even my kids are like, Mom, can you just come sit down? Why are you always doing stuff? Why are you always cleaning? Why are you always doing that? I'm like, well, because it's got to be done, um, and so I am trying to work on, with God's help, okay, let me do what I need to get done, give me the grace and strength to get what I need to be done, but also have that time with, you know, family or to do things, um, so not perfect by any means, it's still a working process, a working process, um, I've gotten better over the years, when I was younger it was really bad, like I said before, if anything interrupted my, my organization throughout the day, it would it'd throw me off and I'd freak out, but um, I'm not like that anymore, but I do need God's grace every day to get me through what I need to get through. Um, the quote for today is, you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. Wow. Um, like I said before, we all have a past. It may be pretty, it may be ugly, it may be everything in between. Um, there's nothing that we can do about that. Um, my kids love to watch Back to the Future, and several times they've said, Mom, if you could travel back in time and go back to the future, what year would you go? What would you change? And, you know, I, I really don't know about that. You know, I don't even know that I would go back and change anything, honestly, because everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, the crying, the laughter, everything has made me who I am today. And I, I like myself. So I don't think that I would want to go back and change anything. You can't. Nobody has a DeLorean. Nobody has a time travel thing that they can go back in time. So what this is saying is you can't change the past, but you can change the here and, and the future. You can start by saying, okay, I'm not going to have my story end bad. I'm going to take my story and I'm going to end it on a good note. And I'm going to have people remember me for what I'm doing now or what I'm going to do in the future. Not about the mistakes I made or not about the past that I lived. So um, I hope that y'all have a wonderful rest of the Monday, and I hope to see you tomorrow, and have a great day.